Half our school came from the Acton side and half our school came from the Hounslow side. And that kind of defined a little bit about where your allegiance is sat. Hence, I ended up going to Griffin Park when I was about 11. Um, and lots of my friends came from the Acton side and of course they gravitated towards Loftus Road. So I think already the, 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 the rivalry and the, the, the passion that goes around this match sort of begins to stem from there really. It's kind of double-edged. I, I enjoy going back to see some old friends and the atmosphere it creates within Brentford and the Brentford fans. And when you're on the Brentford side and you win, it's, it's great in the dressing room and PG loves it. It's one I look forward to. Yeah, I always look out. I've still got a lot of friends at QBR uh, that work there and a couple of players still. Um, and obviously a lot of friends here now at Brentford, so it is quite a important fixture you know it's quite quite exciting to be fair uh yeah it's the maybe the most important game uh, of the season we know exactly what it means for the fans for peter we heard a lot from from him so you know we we want to win this game yeah it's the one you you want to play first and obviously you want to win so I know the, the atmosphere will be will, will be great tomorrow and uh, yeah the, the support will be massive and maybe can be the can be the key for, for our fans to, to win us the game. The the, the hotter bidwell moment was was probably um, probably one of my highlights in all the years I've come to uh, to Brentford just for that, that moment and, and that victory there at Griffin Park was uh, was was a really really special moment. Standout game for me is probably the fixture where we were all black away. We call it the Josh Clark Memorial Cup. I think he got a couple of goals. Um, that's the most standout for me. It was early and then Remain scored. That's, uh, so there's a couple. Away from home is the best one, yeah. Brentford 2 0 and Sawyers! And yeah, if, if I have the opportunity to, to score again, I would be. More, more, than, more than pleased to do it. It's flat to the near post, and there's a little flick. Charles here for Bobby gets his yeah! second! Yeah! Johan Bobby gets his second of the season! He drills it into the ground, it's up over Smithies into the top of the net! Yeah, no no banter, no nothing until after the game. So obviously, uh, I don't want to get rid <laughs> if they beat us, and uh, I can give them a load of stick when Brentford beat them. <laughs> PR game has always had the potential to completely destroy or make my week um, and it's it, it, the anticipation of, of going to the day, I don't particularly look forward to it. I love it if it goes well, it, it defines me, but equally I know how thoroughly depressing it can be for me if we, it's, I wouldn't swap it for the world. And it's the first fixture I look for when they come out, so when are we playing QPR? I enjoy going back because the memories for me are the people I've worked with at QPR, you know, nice people, um, and then having come to Brentford to see the importance of the tie. Best result ever. <laughs> 60 years watching Brentford, best result ever. Quality performance, absolutely magnificent. Didn't have a heart attack, thought I would, but I've shed a tear as well. I love the players, every single one of them. And, and although it's subtle and it's quite sort of nuanced, you can definitely feel that there's something there. Peter Gillam has got a certain spring in his step every time you sort of sort of see him at the moment. 
Yeah, I think as the boys, new boys come in and they don't know about it, Peter G lets them know and they ask questions and we let them know and it's building up to a you know good, especially when it's at home because the home fans kind of come to life. Well, you know, it, it came, I don't remember after after which game in in the changing room where, where we, we won the game and it was like just thank you boys you, you don't know how much it means for for me for for the fans he said I'll sleep good tonight so thanks for it and listen to him after the game saying that you you realize like well wow, maybe that's more than a game for for him and for the fans and he represent a lot of fans Frankly, talked about uh, life and death being football, which is absolutely rubbish. This is far more important than that. It is the game of the season, the game of every season. We haven't played as often as I'd like to. They were in high divisions, but uh, yeah, it's very, very special. Heroes are made in this game. I fancy Brentford tomorrow because they're at home, but yeah, but uh, keep you obviously just one off of a losing streak. And Brentford have just lost away from home, they as well. So hopefully, we'll turn it around again and uh, and beat them. It's building up to a you know good, especially when it's at home because the home fans kind of come to life. All corners are full, and uh, it creates a great atmosphere. When you know the history, you understand why. They want you to win and you can lose 5-6 in a row if, if you win against QPR. The fans are more than happy and yeah, they want us to finish wherever in the league. As, as long as we're from QPR, they will be buzzing. So yeah, we try to win and me personally, I understand why they want us to win. So we do our best to, to win this game.
so pleased that we can give this win because we win the three points to the fans. Uh, but I'm pleased that we get a, uh, give them a, a, a clear 3-0 uh, win, which I think was the, uh, the difference between the two teams today. We, we know it means so much to the fans, but, and for, for us it means a lot that win, but also that we um, can bounce back on a defeat. Bang, we do that. Uh, and at Griffin Park again, it's, it's a fortress.